Hello all, welcome to the course Databricks and PySpark. So now in this lecture, let us try to understand uh, how you can connect ADLS, uh, Data Lake or Blob to a Databricks actually, so that you are going to have a feel like uh, it is already exist in a Databricks file system, DBFS. So that is nothing but calling as mount. So let us try to understand what is the mount meaning, how you can create a mount so that you are going to fetch all the files from either from data lake container or blob container. So before going to see that, please like, subscribe and share the video. So let us try to see, take the DB utils, see the data inside that. So you can see these are all the modules available. So in that, let us try to take the FS actually file system because it is related to the file system. So FS. So now let us try to run this. So you can see under file system, these are all the things. So under that you have an option called mount. So that is what we are going to see. So now what is the meaning of mount? You can observe that. First of all, you can see mounts the given source directory into the DBFS at the given mount point. So the mount point we will understand in the discussion. And then you can understand mounts the given source. So it is somewhere else that may be a data lake or blob, whatever. So that directory that is coming into the DBFS actually as a directory. So you can feel like all the files which are exist in this particular source, which is external, you are going to feel like it is exist already in the DBFS. So that's what it is going to give the feel. So let us try to understand what is the mount inside that you must mention the source on top of that you must mention the mount point and then uh, whatever required details you need to give. So for the access permission, authentication, all, all these things actually. So for that, first of all, if you try to understand, this is the uh, data lake we are going to refer. So that is what uh, EF and ADLS. And in that, if you take the container, so that is the source. So this source contains, these are the files actually. So to this particular container, we are going to connect from the Databricks actually. So for that, what there is a standard format. So you can see that from the Databricks documentation, this is the standard format is given by the Databricks actually. You can just copy it and then bring it to your notebook. So just paste it here. So you can see under the source. So you need to mention the source, right? As you mentioned here in the structure, uh, you can see that in the mount, he mentioned the source. So this is what the source you are giving. And here, to which container you want to connect? And then what is that storage account name? So that is what, right? You just seen that this is the storage account name, EFN ADLS. Let us replace that. Uh, at storage account name, just uh, replace EFN ADLS. Uh, container name is source. This is what the source, right? You can see that. See, this is the source. So just give that name in the container place so in this position give that source then that is done then the, this is the mount point actually okay what is this meaning mount point so let us come to uh, databricks portal and go to the data part actually you can see here see go to the dbfs so just give something so you can see dbfs this is one directory or folder this is one folder the mnt is one folder like this these are all the folders actually so this is calling as a mount point also so that means you are coming to this particular for for example mnt if you go mnt is nothing but uh, mount only under this mount these are all the directories we have actually that means these are all the external data stores you already connected so now let us try to create a new mount point to this position, whatever name we are going to give now. With that, you are going to refer the files which are exist in this particular container. So let us go to the code here, mnt slash uh, efn adls. Uh, I'm just giving the uh, data store name, uh, data like name I'm giving directly so that easily I can understand. I can refer later also. So with that mount point is done. So with this structure, with this path, you can identify that in the DBFS actually, especially here. Now come to the extra configuration where you need to give the uh, authentication details actually. So that is 
uh, one thing is data uh, storage account name is same just replace that with your account name instead of storage account name give the efn adls then followed by so because you are not maintaining any secrets you are just giving the key actually so remove everything just keep the key name so here you need to pass a key so how you will get that so go to the your data store that is data lake actually or even blob storage also so if you come down you are going to have a access keys here so just select that access key you are going to have a two keys any one of them you can take so take this key so you just uh, click on show and then click on the copy to clickboard so that it is already copied then bring that to here actually so this is the key you given so now you can see everything is done so with this you are able to create a connection to this particular container exist in this particular data store that means data lake let us try to run this script first of all and then let us see the uh, whatever we discussed so now it is running you can see so you can see here it is done so it is created okay now let us go to the dbfs and then observe that so what is the name we given here mnt underscore under mnt directory you are going to have a efn adls so right now you don't have efn adls just refresh it then you go to the data part then go to the dbfs then click on mnt so you can see this is the efn adls if you click on this efn adls see why this you need to attach is now it needs to fetch the file names or metadata from this particular uh, uh, data lake actually so to show you that image you should attach a one cluster because in the background some computation is required so you need to give the cluster actually so now you can see it is browsing see level 1 is the directory strom event is another directory and this is the file so that's what we observed in the container part you can see this is the source to this source container we give an amount and then you can observe that see these are the three things existed so now on top of that you can access all these files also now you can display the files uh, by using this mount point also so that's what db utils and you can see here the modules also you can use the ls function so that's what db utils dot fs module under that ls so what is the mount point so this is the mount point right so let us copy this whole thing then pass that as a parameter that path you need to pass then you can see it is going to display the list of uh, uh, files existed in this particular uh, mount point or in this particular container so because uh, this came already let us see this in a table format so you pass this whole result into a display function then you can see meaningfully so three rows three records should be there so you can see these are the three records so here i am pasting here so you can see here you are going to read a csv file from this particular mount point what is that file is emp this one actually so oh. here mount point name should be efn adls so now you can see by using this mount point path then on top of that so or you can see you can take directly this path so that is what i am trying to copy this particular uh, file actually so that copy it and paste it here and then you can load that data into a data frame so that's what we are trying to do here just run this one so this table have actually total 14 records you can see that this file have 14 records so click on edit so total 14 records including the first <coughs> excluding the first line actually which is headers so now this is done so let us try to display the data frame data so that you should observe total uh, 14 records in that particular data frame so you can see here total 14 records these are the 14 records so this way first of all you can mount it and then on top of that you can fetch any file data into the data frames or rdd whatever basing on the requirement you can do that okay 
So this way we can mount the ADLS or blob also, even in the blob also same structure. So that paths and that source name, that means uh, container name and then the data store name you need to give and accordingly keys you need to pass. Okay. So hope you understand how to mount to, to a ADLS or blob. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share the video.